Oh yeah. Hey everyone, Brobescus here, and welcome back to another Let's Watch of Death Battle. Today's episode is one of the most anticipated death battles of all time, I would imagine. Um, it is, um, of all mashups, uh, Macho Man Randy Savage versus the Kool-Aid Man. Yeah, this one. <laughs> um, so, the big episode 150. Um, uh, this, and again, of all matchups, it's this one. Okay, um, so, um, I guess we should start with how I know these characters. Um, so, uh, let's start with Macho Man. Um, I'll be real, um, I've never really been much of a wrestling fan. Um, uh, not that I hated it or anything. I would normally watch it, like, when it was on and then just never bother to watch it on my own. Um, like, I used to work at a restaurant, they had fight night, so, yeah, um, uh, I would watch my fair share of wrestling for, through that, but, um, obviously I am not quite familiar with the wrestling career of Mr. Randy Savage over here, um, cause I never watched his fights, um, I wanted to do some, like, pre preliminary research, for this fight, but I just never got around to it, um, and I had the blog to back up on. Um, so, uh, I guess going into it a little bit, uh, Randy Savage, aka Randall pa Poffo, um, uh, he is a real-life wrestler that uh, has a fictional persona, and that's what they're using for this fight, so I need to stress this very much right now. This is Randy Savage, not Randall Poffo. Um, this isn't the real life wrestler. This is his fictitious persona. Um, um, just want to want to keep that in mind. So, like, if anyone decides to be insensitive in the comments, just know the consequences that await you. Um, um, your actions have consequences, as some people would say. Um, so anyways, yeah. Um, his signature move is the elbow drop. Um, he promoted Slim Jims for a while. He was in Spider-Man, which is about the only piece of media I've seen <laughs> that he's in. Um, and that's about all I got. Um, so what about the Kool-Aid Man? Well, uh, I, if you don't know who the Kool-Aid Man is, I want to know where this Rocky Live Under is. Um, <laughs> I really do. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the Kool-Aid Man, it's the freaking Kool-Aid Man. He promotes Kool-Aid, he busts through walls, he goes, oh yeah! Um, it's... Who doesn't know who this guy is? Um, so... Um, so here's the thing. Um, obviously I don't know a whole lot about these characters going into this. Um, I know, like, their abilities and whatnot because I've paid attention to the blog. Um, uh, but here's the thing about the episode. Um... And this might, I don't know, because I have I obviously haven't seen it, but um, this might screw with how I do the whole who I want to win, who I think is going to win, who I think is going to win uh, formula that I had, um, or still have, rather. Um, because this episode's only 12 and a half minutes long, and apparently it's structured really differently than normal death battles. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this if they don't separate the analysis from the fight um or whatever they decide to do so i'm just gonna go ahead and um yeah i'm, I'm going for kool-aid man for who i want to win um now as for who i think is going to win i think it's debatable oh by the way i have gatorade here because it's about the only this is about the closest thing i could get to having kool-aid i really wanted to have kool-aid for this but i never got around to buying some um Oh well, um, so yeah, I have a Gatorade here, I'll be drinking that for this fight, <laughs> um, um, uh, okay, who do I think is going to win, um, so when we did the podcast, uh, which you guys hopefully have seen, um, uh, at, back then I was torn, I had no idea who I thought was going to win, uh, because it basically seemed like Macho Man had the stats, but Kool-Aid Man had the abilities to keep up. Um, and I thought that, I thought for a while that maybe Kool-Aid Man could win based on abilities alone. 
Um, so kind kind of similar to Doctor Doom versus Lex Luthor, but not really. Um, um, but as it turns out, uh, Randy's stats are a bit beyond that, and he has resistance to some of Kool Aid Man's um, best abilities, like transmutation. Macho Man has shape shifting. Um, Kool Aid Man can teleport him to the Kool Aid Beach dimension. Um, Macho Man can teleport right back. It's kind of the whole shtick with, the, with that ability is to keep up the fight. Um, so if this comes down to stats, then um, I'm just going to go ahead and be up front. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Macho Man. And um, I don't know. Um, obviously, anything can happen. Um, they did say there is going to be a winner. So there's this isn't going to be some like satirical um, draw, um, like Chuck versus Sagata or Deadpool versus Pinkie Pie was. Um, this is going. This is going to be more like um, as far as like a joke fight goes. Going to be more along the lines of like Smokey versus McGruff than Chuck versus Sagata, because um, it will have a definitive winner. Um, and that's about the extent of what I know going into this. I did see the preview. Um, I did see the preview. I did see the uh, reveal at RTX where they revealed like 10 different voice actors. Um, including, um, I know uh, Antfish is voicing uh, Macho Man here. Um, I believe Tom Schulk is Kool-Aid Man. I will have to check the credits. Um, we're getting all five uh, Death Battle original characters. So Wiz, Boomstick, Ringmaster, Jocelyn, and Dummy. Um, um, and then we got three, uh, we got three extra wild cards here. Um, uh, Barbara Dunkelman, Curtis Arnott, and Matt Hollum. Um, the voices of Yang, Deadpool, and Sarge in their death battles. And in Yang and Sarge's case, their actual shows. Um, so I'm just going to be up front. Uh, I'm not going to go too far into it because we are already did on a podcast. Um, I think Barbara is Grandma Boomstick. Um, Curtis is Deadpool and Matt is Sarge, and they're gonna say that, and they're gonna reveal that Sarge is Boomstick's dad, um, because that's another thing this episode is building up to. Um, that they're finally gonna find out who Boomstick's dad really is, as, as if um, uh, we don't have two episodes already, kind of hinting at who it is. Um, I'm just opening my Gatorade. Okay, I just had to take a sip. Um, Anyways, now that that's out of the way, so um, I don't know if this part's gonna get filled out. Um, I'll have to wait for a. Uh, it's time for a death battle to see what happens. Um, and if not, then uh, I guess this is gonna be one continuous uh, reaction. It's, and there isn't gonna be any pauses. Who knows? Okay. Um, with that out of the way, I've been waiting for this for too long. This has been out for over an hour and a half. By the time I'm watching this, um, let's watch this death battle. And just embrace the weird. That's what I'm going with. I'm just going to embrace the weird. Oh, I should probably mention. Um, I have a pretty good idea of what the next fight's going to be. Um, or I'm not going to say what it is, just in case I'm wrong. Um, and if, if I am, I'll say it at the end. Um, 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 but uh, so in case you're wondering why there isn't some like, it's like, oh yeah, this is finally happening. Um, reaction. That's why. Because I probably already know what it is. Um, but okay. Enough talk. Let's watch the battle of the- oh yeah. Let's do it. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Hey, oh. it's Marshall. Boomstick, but you'll never believe this. I found your dad. <laughs> okay, we're already starting like this. Okay, I think your dad's around here somewhere. I got a tip from a guy. Uh, he's wearing red. Wait, his dad or your guy? Ah, oh, who cares? Boomstick doesn't need this. Oh, yeah! What you need is to snap into a Slim Jim. Macho Man Randy Savage? Dad? 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 What? That's no way. Randy 
Savage never had any children. Hey, who knows? He had a dynamite career in the wrestling ring, and that could bring in all the ladies. My mom definitely would have gone for that. Oh, the macho man is the cream, and I'm always rising to the top. Uh, well, for those unaware, what in the world? Burst into the wrestling scene in 1973. Um. Okay. This is this is odd. In just a decade, he smashed into the World Wrestling Federation and won a heavyweight championship. Macho Man, more like Macho King. He bench pressed over 300 pounds and ripped himself out of a straitjacket. He's won 70 percent of all his televised matches thanks to his super move. The elbow drop. Except when he's using that same elbow drop to, no joke. Okay, well, that's quite the start. I did see the analysis previews, but. Um. And he's kicked butt outside the ring, too. He's battled Spider Man and even Chuck Norris. That's right, he fought the guy whose push-ups pushed the Earth down. No wonder he was powerful enough to destroy entire planets as the intergalactic tyrant, Wrestlord. That seems a bit out of character. You know I'm thirsty to win, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did someone say thirsty? Oh, no. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Please listen closely. <laughs> Sucralose abomination with no respect for solid structures is more than just a five cent mascot. Damn right! He's a friggin' superhero! Once upon a time, he was just a simple pitcher with a smiley face. But then, the thirsties attacked, threatening the delicate balance between hydration and drought. Next editing, once again, just mwah. Heard of her glassware. Only the Kool-Aid man possesses the power, the skill, and the sheer liquid magnitude to battle this alien force. That's right, the Kool-Aid man fights to save the world from thirst itself. This is real. Standing six feet tall and weighing 11,000 pounds, God, Jeez. he never lets a foe get away, even braving time travel and outer space. Yep, even in a vacuum, he's golden. Just like that golden nectar flavor, right? You remember that? Nope. Looked like a bucket of piss. So it's safe to say the Kool-Aid man is surprisingly powerful. He's super strong and can seemingly break through any wall, be it wood, brick, steel, concrete, or even spaceship holes. Yet his true power is far more esoteric. He can teleport himself and others in an instant. Says no to all walls. <laughs> I like that a lot, actually. But Wiz, let's ask the real question. Is the Kool-Aid man the glass pitcher or the juice inside? Like, Both. Where is his soul? Well, we have seen him exist solely as a pitcher before adding Kool-Aid mix, but officially he's both, which is important as he can always summon more Kool-Aid. That's cool. Didn't that tweet like just come out like a few because like the Kool-Aid man is not that long ago actually? High fructose corn syrup eldritch deity that possesses complete omnipotent control over all things Kool-Aid. He can control it telekinetically, use it to create portals to his own Kool-Aid dimension, launch himself or others fast enough to spin the moon, and even manipulate matter. Such as when he twisted these mountains into Kool-Aid. Yeah. Which is how many tons of TNT or whatever? What? You're the math guy, math it up. But we're not at the lab. The only one there is uh, the IT girl. There's Jocelyn. <laughs> I need you to calc this mountain. On it. Right. Let's not ask me. Dummy! Living computer. Done. Hi. Based on their shape, these appear to be strato volcanoes. To manipulate each to twist at one revolution per two tenths of a second, the Kool-Aid man would have to be exerting energy equivalent to 497 sextillion joules. For a little perspective, that's only about five times less than the energy output every second by the sun. Which he broke, by the way. Okay, but when Macho Dad snaps a Slim Jim, he also gets... Oh, wow. <laughs> They're going back to him. Okay. Is this going to be... I, I, I'm curious if this is going to be a new thing. The, the Lux here. Maybe not the static, but... Wait, what bulls? I didn't exactly expect these... Uh, Sodium flesh sticks to contain such potent magic. Well, however they work, he's eaten so many Slim Jims, he's maintained some of their power permanently. As Rasslor, he defeated the superhero Major Glory with a single punch, who could run 500 laps around the world in two seconds. 
That would require speeds over 33 times faster than light. If these two were to fight each other, it would be wild. Oh yeah! It's time for a Oh, we're doing this. Okay. Um <laughs> We are doing this. Okay. Um just wanted to make sure everything's still good because last episode I had some technical issues as well. Um Okay, so uh, I guess Macho Man just wins. Um, so um, I, I'm going to go ahead with that. We still have half an episode left. Jeez Louise. Okay. Um, this is a weird one. Um, um, I mean, I, I knew as much going into it, but like, wow. Um, oh, let's see what the fight has in store. I'm not going to say much. I pretty much already got my... Uh, um, thoughts out there. I think Macho Man's gonna win, um, and, yeah, um, if Kool-Aid Man does win, uh, I'm gonna be surprised, but I'm also gonna be pretty pleased about that, um, as long as they can explain it very well. Um, and I just realized I still haven't taken much, uh, I haven't really drank much Gatorade. I shall rep my preferred character somehow, um, not sponsored, by the way. Um, okay, enough talk. Let's watch a fight. Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get him, Dad. I don't think that's him. For sake. And pow! I, did, I like I said, I did see the animation preview. So, did you know Kool Aid Man's liquids can raise plants and heal the dead? Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Isn't that just a Skyrim mod? Not that big of a stretch. He can turn his fingers into snakes. Oh no, snakes. Right. You're just jealous of how awesome my dad is. He's not... Ugh. Look, Kool-Aid Man is like nothing he's ever fought. That sugary monster once turned the entire world into Kool-Aid. Come on, bud. Your dad's got this. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, forget it. Where are you going? Oh. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about this. Oh, and we're back. Jeez. Um... Dad! No! I hate your daddy, kid. <laughs> Wait a sec. If he's not your dad, but your dad is here, and in red, then that can only mean... Did Kool-Aid Man win? That was different. Macho Man's skill set was beyond expectation. Kool Aid Man won? Well, the Kool Aid Man could destroy the sun. Greater than even Ratzler's theoretical planetary feats, if you want to count those. These rules change all the time anyway. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. Good. Macho Man was faster, being over 30 times light speed. Even the Kool-Aid launch to the moon was only a fraction faster than light. But Randy could not be savage enough to hurt him. Kool-Aid Man possesses full control over all Kool-Aid. It was important to confirm that his existence is both of the pitcher and the liquid inside. As that means so long as Kool-Aid exists nearby, the Kool-Aid Man has life. And thanks to his magic, he could always summon more. I suppose Macho Man didn't have the thirst to win. 
Was that a joke? <sighs> Do you have an off switch? Yes. Anyway, the winner is the Kool-Aid Man. Huh. Obviously. Yes, it's terrible. I'm the spawn of sugar and food coloring. Okay. I found your tip guy. It's oh, okay. Hi. What the hell is happening? Hey, I'm wearing red, just like I promised. You wouldn't have come if you knew it was me, right? After all, I'm only the second most famous Vancouver Deadpool. Damn that himbo. Um, okay. Where's his dad? Oh, no idea. But my man Macho knows, so you can just ask... Uh... Oh, yeah! Huh. Same time next week. Oh, yeah. One last time. Where is my father? <laughs> Goddamn squirrels! Is that you? <laughs> Mama? Wait, Mom? I thought Dad was here. So did I, Junebug. So did I. But I reckon I learned something. You can't worry much about what you hope for, because then you might miss the way things turn out. Like how you got a couple of real good friends here helping you. I guess you can't always get what you want. But you just might find what you need. Thanks, Mama. Now get off my lawn, boy. Those goddamn squirrels ain't gonna hunt the trail. Ha! Davy Crockett, minute. That boy sounds familiar. <laughs> I knew it was Sarge. Oh, that's nice. Jesus, Jesus. Did I have a son? <laughs> wow, this one was weird. Coin in one? Okay. Oh. Yup. Let's go! Theo versus Alucard! <laughs> yes! Okay! <laughs> I'm so cool with that. Yep. Um This this is the one that is the matchup I thought it was gonna be. Um Heck yeah! Heck heck yeah! Okay, so I'm just gonna uh, I'll just say um I like JoJo a lot. Um, uh, I haven't seen much. I I haven't seen much past part four. That's kind of where I stopped. Um, but um, uh, yeah, I I like JoJo a lot. Um, I like Dio a lot. Um, so it's cool to see him get into death battle. Um, and I just watched the original Helsing like a few months back. Um, uh, I still have yet to see Helsing Ultimate. I might do that, um, uh, pretty soon, but, um, um, I thought it was okay. Um, I know that's, that's gonna, I know I'm going to piss off so many people. Um, the original Helsing, um, maybe it was just because I watched it, er like, earlier in the day, but er I got to a point where it just kind of put me to sleep. Um, um. I might have been fatigued at the time. I'll watch Helsing Ultimate and get back to you on it. Um, um, but this is a match I'm so down for. I'm so down for this one. This is one I've been wanting for a while. This one, um, uh, Liam, who was on the, the Death Battle team, has been wanting for ages. It's his most wanted, so it's cool that it's finally happening. Um, um, and yeah. Um, So, I don't really have a whole lot to comment on that one just yet, um, uh, cause, you know, it, it just, it just got announced for me, um, and, um, uh, I'm rooting for Dio, obviously, um, I do like Alucard, he was a cool character, but I'm, I'm rooting for Dio, 
Um, and uh, I'm just going to be upfront about it now. I think he wins. And I'll explain more on a future video. Um, okay, so this fight. I want to talk about this fight. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I, it, it was weird. It was definitely weird. Um, um, I just... Hmm. I'm trying to put my... I'm trying to put my feelings into words. I'm obviously this is my first time watching, so maybe like future rewatches, I'll probably feel better or worse about it. Um, I do like what we have. Um, the actual combat, the fight itself, is great, um, and I do love the transition to like to hand drawn to uh, claymation and back. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing that um, claymation style pop up again, because I thought that was really interesting. Um, um, I'm definitely surprised that Kool-Aid Man won. Um, I thought this was going to be an easy win for Macho Man, so... Um, uh, they didn't mention... Um, both could turn it into... Both have like weird constellation feats. I guess that would only make um, their AP even more like more even. Which I guess helps Macho Man, but it might. I'll have to go back and re-listen to this uh, explanation. Um, uh, right now, I accept it, um, but I'm obviously going to have to learn more. Um, obviously, me not being super invested in these characters, uh, I didn't really have much of a preference one way or the other. I obviously wanted Kool Aid Man to win, um, but I wouldn't have been super upset if he didn't. Um, I thought he was. I thought he was dead when. Uh, I thought he was down when. Um, when when the uh, Macho Man drank his drank the Kool Aid and uh, the pitcher was broken, um, I thought that was it. Um, but um, but apparently not. Um, and he brought Macho Man back to life anyway. So uh, yeah. Um, I think um, obviously I I knew this was going to be different. I knew this was going to be a very different packaging when it comes to death battle. Um, um, but I thought it was a little weird that, um, they kept, like, inter like they kept, like, putting in analysis parts with the, like, they kept putting in more analysis with the fight. Um, it kind of distracted me a little bit. Maybe, maybe over time I'll get used to it, but, um, um, right now it's, it's just a little, uh, I don't want to say rough. It's not rough. Um, I guess, um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to put it. Um, I guess the best way I can put it is that it's weird. Um, but I mean, that's also the point. So um, I do like how uh, Jocelyn and Dummy are the ones that uh, recap uh, why Kool Aid Man wins. Um, and they did confirm Sarge is Boomstick's dad. They don't meet. That's a little disappointing, but um, but it was cool nonetheless. It was a little weird how Sarge was. Uh, 3D when, um, everything else around was 2D. Um, also, why is he here? <laughs> I just realized that. Why is he here? Um, um, also, Barbara is Boomstick's mother, not his grandmother. That, okay, um, I mean, it's the same general concept, I imagine, but, um, 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 but it was cool to see that, um, bringing Deadpool back, I mean, I don't think it ruins Deadpool versus the mask in a way, um, there's no, like, fourth wall shenanigans there, um, and he's only there for, like, not even, not even a minute, so I'm not too bothered by it, to be honest, um, um, so, yeah, um, um, I would give my full rating, but, um, I'm, I'm gonna give this episode a few more rewatches just to be, uh, on the safe side. Um, um, I guess first impressions wise, um, 
Um, it's probably my least favorite out of the three second half fights. Um, but that's just, I mean, that's also just because, like, Goku Black versus Reverse Flash is just amazing, and Batman versus Iron Man is super special to me. So, um, it was kind of, it kind of had a, an uphill battle to begin with. Um, uh, who knows? Maybe, um, maybe later on I'll grow to be more, uh, I'll, I'll be able to accept it more. Um, I, I guess accept isn't really the right word. I, I want to stress, re I, I cannot stress this enough. I do like this. Um, um, I do like what we have. Um, I just think, um, just like, I know they said, I, I know they said it was going to be different. I get it. But, um, but this kind, this level of difference is going to take some time to get used to. Once I do, I'll probably like this fight a whole lot more. Um, and I imagine I probably will like this fight more as I go, as time goes on um, um but right now i'm just gonna say it's good and i'll leave the future to decide whether or not i continue to either really like this fight or just think it's good um, um so yeah that's really all i have to say um i'm really excited for dio versus alucard that's gonna be such a cool fight um and we'll just have to wait and see what happens then um so, uh, with that said, uh, that's all I have to say. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.